Hi, I'm Zach from Corkcell Sports Training, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to properly train the hamstrings to make athletes extremely fast. But before I do that, I'm going to show you a testimonial from one of my athletes that I was able to take from a 4-5 down to a 4-3, and he was able to walk on to the Penn State football team and make the team. I've been working out with Zach uh, for the past 10 years now. I sought him out when I had the chance to walk on to Penn State. I was always fast in high school, um, but he took my 40 from 4.5 down to a 4.3, which at that level made a pretty big difference. Um, he focused on all the hamstring exercises for me to help build up my flexibility and my strength so I wouldn't get hurt. Um, he focused on getting me stronger, more flexible, um, and honestly, without Zach, I don't think I would have had the chance to walk on and compete at that level. Um, every single day. So training the hamstrings for speed come down to two factors. First, as you learned in the prior episode in episode four, the glute minimus will have an effect on overall hamstring strength. So if the glute minimus is weak, this is also going to affect the strength levels of the hamstring. So it's very important to learn in that prior episode how to strengthen this, uh, the glute minimus and the glute medius chain here. Second, the second factor is, is being able to isolate and train the hamstrings, that, well, that's what we're going to show you today. So I'm going to show you the difference between training the hamstrings and training the glutes. So let's look at an RDL. So with an RDL here, we're just doing semi-bent leg RDL. So we're going here, okay, and then we're coming up. This exercise, along with the glute bridge here, These exercises here, I classify as glute dominant exercises. They're 80% glute, 70% glute, 30% hamstring. What we want to do is, we want to do these exercises to train the glutes, but then we also want to do specific exercises to isolate the hamstrings and make those strong as well. And that's what we're going to show you. So if we're trying to make athletes extremely fast, we have to develop both their glutes and their hamstrings. We have to make both of those extremely strong. So as I talked about uh, in the prior clip, I talked about RDLs and glute bridges and those being more glute dominant and less hamstring dominant. So what we want to do is we want to put 80% 70% on the hamstring and 20 or 30% onto the glute. So how do we do that is, is we basically need to combine hip uh, extension with knee flexion. And when we're training the hamstrings, if we're just doing regular leg curls and we're just doing this here and we're doing knee flexion, that's, gonna, that's, that's not going to work the chain like you do when you sprint. So when you sprint, you're going to obviously be, be working both your, your hamstrings and your glutes at the same time. So that's how we want to train them because that's going to be more functional to sprinting. And that's why a lot of people like the glute ham. So the exercise we're going to show you is a whole preparation foundational exercise that's going to develop the hamstrings so that the, you can move the athlete onto the glute ham. And we're going to go into the glute ham on other episodes, but today we're just going to focus on this foundational exercise. So when we're testing the hamstring, uh, five and 10 pounds are going to be on the weaker side of things and 15 to 20 pounds is going to be on the stronger side of this thing. And basically what we want to do is, is with this exercise, we want to work people up to 20 pounds and we want to be able to do no problem for 15 reps, then I know they're ready to move on to the glute ham. So let's just look here and I'm just going to do 10 pounds. I'm going to show you the exercise. So what we're doing is, is we're isometrically holding into the ground here in knee flexion while we hip extend here. And that's the exercise, just like that. That's how simple this is, okay? And the farther our leg is in, the more it's gonna work the glute. The farther the leg's out, the more it's gonna work the hamstring. And a lot of people, they like putting the leg up on the box. You can do that as well, it just makes it easier. If you're on the flat ground here, because of the leverage point, it's just gonna make it harder. So all you're gonna do is, is you're gonna take this, you're gonna put it here, and then you're just gonna lift up and down and I don't really I don't want them to fully extend the hips just here to here and I'm letting my butt, butt touch 
just very lightly that way I just know I'm there but I don't want to put any pressure onto it that's how simple the test is and then you know that they're ready to move on to the glued ham as soon as they get to 20 pounds so as far as program design for the hamstrings I try to do the isolated hamstring exercise like I showed you in the video twice per week three sets of 10 to 15 and then I also do glute dominant exercises like the one I showed you earlier the RDL the bilateral glute bridges twice per week three sets of 8 to 10 and that way we're constantly balancing the hamstrings with the glutes for ultimate speed development if you enjoyed watching this video please like the video and also subscribe to our channel Visit our playlist titled Educational Episodes if you want to see more of our sports training and rehab videos. Thank you.